Hello everyone, Watch Woman Warrior here. Um, I haven't been on in a while because they struck me again for a video that they've already stricken me on before and they just keep restriking the same video, which I don't even understand how they can do that, but I'm um, sorry if you hear that noise in the background, it's my dryer, but I'm recording this to see if I'm able to upload a video, so I need to make a video, and I'm hoping that you all are doing alright, and I've been praying for you guys, um, like everybody in general who calls upon the name of the Lord. And I pray that you are also praying for me in your prayers as well. And God knows who I am, you know. And even though you don't know me personally, I would I would like your prayers too. If you pray to the one true Lord God and not to, like, Satan or whatever. Of course, me just saying that's going to draw it to, like, people going to try and do incantations and crap. But just remember, if you do such things, it will not affect me, but it will come back on you at least sevenfold. Ten, depending on how wicked you truly are. So, please heed that warning, and don't let Satan talk you into it, because you're the only one that's going to suffer in the end. Just FYI. And I can promise you that. Because God says it to be so, so therefore it's truth. It's not my truth. It is his truth altogether. And without his truth, there is no truth at all. And if there is no truth, then we would not exist. You know, we just there would be no reason for us to be here at all. Even, like, even in an evolutionary standpoint, if we did not have a purpose in being here, we would not exist, period without a purpose it just there's no no way around it so um anyways um things are progressing very fastly they're starting to pass laws to provoke those of faith into violence or into acts that um would instigate somebody else who likes to be violent to be violent towards said whoever you know this speaks out against the nowadays son of perdition narrative and um, it's going to progress very rapidly, as we we're seeing in China. Chinese people do not ever rise up against their leader because they know that it doesn't matter what you think or feel or what you believe or what God says. It does not matter because they themselves believe that they are God. So they will do to you as they see fit and you best listen or they'll take you out without any question. You know, because if you're not for us, you're our enemy and you are in violation of treason and that's punishable by death and um america is the last to fall and when she falls her fall will be great and it would be terrible because her smoke will ascend unto the heavens like yellowstone or all the ones in america erupting all at once causing a cascading effect of death and doom when the pits of hell open which they're using cern on the complete opposite side of the earth as America to open up the pits of hell in America upon the earth. And um, either China is the fallen Babylon or America is the fallen Babylon. But America is the one that flaunts herself as a harlot for all to see. Even calling biological males females and saying America uh, a woman of America blasphemy against you know like a slap in the face to God you know and it's literally right after somebody who claimed to be for God was the president that you know they slandered which honestly they're all worth slandering because they're all doing wrong before the eyes of God and it's not just man and it's it's sad to see because even the name of God is blasphemed all the time even amongst the people of faith. And they don't even notice it. You know, most people completely disregard that God gave one name for our Lord and Savior. And that was Emmanuel. God with us. God with man. And he even said, interprets as God with you. God with man. And he's the Son of God. And he already came. And to call him any other name than Emmanuel is not the name. It's not, you can't, if you're doing it in any other name, then it's, 
you best be checking yourself for who it's being coming from. Because God gave one name. And it was not Jesus and it cannot be interpreted into such a, such a word. You cannot translate Emmanuel into Jesus or Yeshua or Joshua. You just can't. Emmanuel. There's no reason to change it. It's beautiful as God said it would be. It's a beautiful prince of peace. It's a peaceful name. It's a name that is the truth. He came as the word of God. As flesh and dwelt among man. And told us exactly what God meant by everything that he told us was true. He lived it as example to prove that. But they changed so much. And they feed us a bunch of crap all the time. And interpret stuff wrongly. Why are they changing names? The Bible's only book that's ever been the names changed during translation. Why is that? Oh, I know. Because they don't want us to know the real name. Because in the real name is the power of the word of Almighty God. Because God named them. God gave the name. We profess it in truth. And if we profess it in anything but truth, may God help our souls. Because we're in deep shit. Down shit creek without a paddle. And we're in deep trouble. And we're going to sink in the muck with the boots on. Because it's going to fill up all the holes we got in and we ain't paying attention. It's coming hard and it's coming fast, y'all. He gave me a dream recently. It's like... Pray God has mercy on Amer on those who call upon him. Not America, because America is a harlot. No offense to any patriots out there, I promise you. This is not the America I grew up in, and I'm only 36 years old. I'll be 37 in January. And praise be to God, I've made it this far. I pray and make it even longer, no matter what tries to help me and put me down. Because I want to be there to see his amazing awesomeness that he's getting ready to do. But we're going to have to be willing to give up everything. Everything, y'all. Absolutely everything that is anything of the world. Including how I'm talking to you right now. But I'm willing to do that because I know that y'all remember my voice. And you've seen my face if you're seeking out what I look like. I don't look as I once did. I'm changing very rapidly, but I'm okay. I praise God for that because he's the great camouflager. <laughs> and you know what? He's using my scars for his beauty because only he will be able to know who I am. And only through him will people know me. And if he's the reason they know me, praise be to God. Because, hey, we got a believer here, y'all. Praise be to God, we got a believer here. And I, I feel that one day I will get to meet you guys. Some of you, anyway. And praise be to God, if the day does come and actually happens before we go home to be with him. But we got a long road ahead of us. Those who are going to survive through the going of it. And I want to be going through it, even though it's terrible, the thing's coming. And I don't, I don't wish it on no one, honestly, I don't. Literally hell on earth. But I, I don't want to be here because I'm afraid of dying. I would love to go home. I would love to go home to be with the Lord any, any, any time he would like me to. And I don't pray to God that I have something. Like, I just want to hear... Well, welcome, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter ye into the joy of your Lord. You know, that I'm fine with that. That alone, that's all I hope and pray for. I don't care about castles and golden streets and all that. It doesn't matter. What matters is the fact that I'll get to be home with him. I'll be with him. He'll be there for real. Like It won't just be believing and seeing in my mind's eye through the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit we call it. 
not a ghost. Ghosts are the people, the darkness that was attached to people before they died. And then the fallen angels' children, when they died, they became the first ones on the earth. And they helped breed new ones through the people living on the earth, through using them spiritually without them realizing it, and creating in them demons of themselves that work with the other darkness that's out there from the beginning. You know, just like in Charmed and stuff. It's like the same thing, only that's dramatized. You know, it's purely spiritual. We can't see it. And if we were to see it in its true form, it'd still be nothing like we know or can even think of. Because it's spiritual and carnal man cannot perceive nor understand it. Only by God can we see anything, but we can still only see it in a way he portrays it so we can understand it. And that our brains can even perceive it. Which is in like the beasts and the parables and stuff. You know, but to actually understand the um, just amazing awesomeness of God and be able to fathom his, just the way he is and what he's capable of and just what God is, you know, because he's not anything. He's, he's life itself. He's like an entity source, but power at the same time with love and all of the good things that we could ever possibly imagine. And I'm not talking about lustful things. I'm talking about completely separate from this fleshly body or fleshly desires altogether. Like it's something internal. Like when you feel true joy, like a, a unexplainable joy you can't explain, and you're just overwhelmed with joy, like overwhelmed with tears for joy versus overwhelmed with sorrow for tears. And it's like that unexplainable joy that like nothing could ever take away for a certain amount of time of your life. And it's just wonderful. It's almost like you can literally fly. Just emotionally and spiritually, it's beautiful. And, um, and he gives us those memories to remind us of his joy. Like how when you feel that, that's being like in his presence. Like to feel that is like being in the Lord's presence. And that's why he gives that to us because it's a representation of his amazing awesomeness just to be just to behold him is to love him with everything that you can all of your might and all your strength and all your mind and all your soul like you want to love him you want to praise and thank him so much for all his many blessings even in the storm you especially want to do it in the storm because if you don't do it in the storm then that's the reason the storm came to begin with. Because if we lose sight of the way he says things should go and the way things should be, everything falls apart. And we have no clue who we are anymore. No one. Everybody's going on cue cards and the way Google says it should be or the way TikTok shows it or the way YouTube reveals it. Well... Where is God in that? There isn't God in that because they're trying to get rid of God by giving in to just what they think what they think we should do or feel or need because of the way they are. And they want to portray themselves who they truly are, so they want to defile us before they flaunt themselves, which they're already flaunting themselves. Our president, the president of the harlot of the world right now which is America, is flaunting the abomination of pedophilia and like mutilation of the most innocent beings upon the earth. Children. You know, and they've been torturing animals for years and people. And now they're saying that it's like a medical necessity to brainwash and then mutilate children all over the world. And I'm ashamed of what this nation has become. I am just outright ashamed to be even called an American right now because of the harlotry and the abomination of disgust and filth and innocent bloodshed, innocent mutilation of our youth over some sick, twisted desire that Epstein cooked up on his little island that they pretend doesn't exist still to this day I pray God's children wake up and quit hiding behind masks of science and superstition 
and see the truth that's all around you of how this nation has become the huge, uh, disgusting, transgender harlot of the world, flaunting her abomination, like bleeding her rag all over the world is a good thing, when she needs to stand shit up and close her legs. Woe to America for her abominations. And may God have mercy on us all for what he's about to do. Because God's fist is coming down on this nation. On the harlot of the world. And all who take part in her will fall. And the fall will be great and magnificent. And the whole world will give glory to God Almighty. For he alone shall reign. Heed this warning. Because it could be your last. God bless you all. And I pray that Christ our Lord keeps you in his hands and holds you close to his heart. And carries you all the way home wherever that may lead you. Remember, nothing is impossible with Christ. Emmanuel, who came and died for us. He is our strength and our courage. He is our shepherd. Those who dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our strength, our God, in Him we will trust. Surely He shall keep thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. He will cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be our shield and buckler. We shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at our side, and ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we behold and see the reward of the wicked. For we have made the Lord, which is our refuge, even the Most High, our habitation. Therefore shall no evil befall us, and no plague come nigh our dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. They shall bear us up in their hands, lest we dash our foot against a stone. We shall tread upon the lion and the adder. Yes, the young lion and the dragon shall we trample underfoot. For thus says the Lord, Because you have set your love upon me, therefore I will deliver you. I will set you on high, because you have known my name. You shall call upon me, and I will answer you. I will be with you in trouble. I will deliver you and honor you. And with long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation, says the Lord. God bless and God speed. And Emmanuel, Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>